So, uh, yeah, my unpopular opinion is that Git is awful and it needs to die. Die, die, die. Wow. That's a pretty unpopular opinion. <laughs> why? Why, why, why? Yeah. Well, because it, it doesn't scale. Uh, among other things. Also, it's completely unintuitive. And it's uh, honestly, it's, it's, oh, God, you're going to get me ranting. Uh, look, first of all, I've seen revision control systems come and go, right? I started with RCS and then CVS and then SVN and then Perforce and it went on and on, Piper at Google and, and then Git and Mercurio. And I mean, Git, Git was just another one. Uh -huh. And it had great marketing and it had great, it had some sort of great virality. It's really kind of garbage. The whole thing is just, uh, it's very powerful and flexible, but, uh, and it doesn't scale. Like fundamentally all the companies that we work with that, that use Git have, you know, maybe a hundred thousand Git repos. What, what are you going to do with a hundred thousand Git repos? You, you know, Android struggled with this mightily when I was uh, on the Android team at Google, right? I mean, just, we had all these huge wrappers around Git to deal with multiple repos because of the open source problem and, you know, the internal stuff. And I just learned to hate Git. I hate Git. And I think that there's an unhealthy dependence on both Git and GitHub. I think that GitHub is a monopoly. They're closed fundamentally. I think that, that Microsoft under Satya has been a very open ecosystem, right? Mm -hmm. Look at VS Code. Yeah. Right? Look at, I mean, they've done some really cool stuff, but GitHub was an acquisition and they're still very, very closed off. And, you know, uh, and I, I, I don't, I, I think developers like GitHub too much. I mean, maybe the alternatives aren't that great, but like I, I see this uh, this attachment to it, and I'm like, stuff changes, and you're you're not holding a high enough bar. Mm. Git's not good enough. You should never be satisfied with the state of the art if it's killing you. And right now, the state of the art is killing us. How is it killing us? Hundred thousand repos. Every company has a billion. Oh, okay, that's the killing us. But who's feeling that pain? I'm not feeling that pain. Well, you don't have that many repos. Is anybody working on this? Who's working on this? Well, F Facebook just launched, what is it, Sapling, right? Which looks kind of promising, although it didn't start taking the, getting the acceleration that I was looking at. But mm. changing code hosts is a big deal for people. You guys want an unpopular opinion. I'm giving you like potentially the most. No, no, no we're, we're with you. This is part of the game here. We're playing the game. I'm enjoying this. I'm considering it. I do like GitHub. I'm wondering, you said maybe they like it too much. And I'm thinking... The product is good, though, so that's why I like it. Like, it, it's good. It's decent. You haven't used Google's tools. True. So maybe we need a source graph, another source graph. A source graph, source graph, I would argue, is, you know, because the, the folks at source graph actually love GitHub and haven't used Google's tools. Source graph is, you know, I mean, source graph is, is better than GitHub in a lot of ways, but, you know, source graph doesn't try to be GitHub with all the workflows and all that stuff. Right. So what I mean by that is the beyond work there and Quinn worked there. They're, they're, the, the history of knowing Google tools, using Google, Google tools, and then being an expat of Google and then doing something about it is what I mean by that. They were the inspiration for source right. We need, Yeah, we need somebody to say, okay, I've been in Google and I've used Google tooling and we need a non-GitHub that is Google tooling that's better. A startup that knows Google's tools but can then recreate them. Yeah. Who's, who's going to do that? Who, who would you bet on to do that? You mean to, to, to come up with a Google style tool? Well, that's, that's, I mean, come on, man. That's my dream. I, I hopefully me. <laughs> that's my dream. Oh, <laughs> oh, I see. So this is like the beginning. This might be the beginning of a new story. It could be. I like be. that. So Git isn't good enough. And I think you said GitHub is bad. I'm just trying to think of how, like if I was going to put no, this I'm into not, a, We're not going to try to, uh, if, you, if you're trying to read the tea leaves, if I'm not trying to tackle GitHub or anything like that right now. It's, Fair enough. Unfortunately, it's, you know, it's, it's the least bad, right? It's the least of all the bad options, least bad of all of them yeah. out there. But I truly believe it could be a lot better and that, and that AI is going to make it a lot better. And um, yeah. so, you know, I love being at Sourcegraph because we can actually bring that experience across. There are still Bitbucket users in the world. I'm one. Oh, yeah. And, get, and, and not, not, the, get, uh, not the Bitbucket's great either. But Have you used Fossil? Fossil SCM from Richard Hip from SQLite? No, but uh, it's a completely different way of thinking about it. Maybe give that a look. Fossil, you never commit, right? Like it's always... You commit, but everything's always synchronized around everybody's. Yeah. It's still distributed, but it's always synchronized. It's never on your machine only. You never have to get push master. It's just there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it scales or not, but they use it for SQLite. Yeah. I think fundamentally we need somebody who, who comes at this from the perspective of we need to make this scale up to world scale code bases. Okay. And I think that will ultimately come out of industry. I think Facebook sapling might be the closest, but we'll see. Mm. Or an ex-Googler, somebody who leaves Google and says, I need a company. 
you know what's good was Google's tools. You know what's bad is Git. And I'm going to try to tackle this. That could happen. What is Google's tools in this case? Like, what do they have that would be better, the scale version of it? Can you describe it or is it under like NDA and you can't tell anything about it forever? Yeah, it's just that like the, 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 the code graph, you know, gets exposed across the entire workflow. So, you know, in GitHub, if you see a symbol in a pull, in a pull request, you know, mm -hmm. you can't click on it or hover it or get, you know, graph information about it, you know, like in your IDE, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they don't, they don't have IDE quality indexing when you're, you know, do, looking at, like, like when you're looking at trace logs or debug views or whatever, all, all of that stuff is completely and fully instrumented at Google where, you know, so in other words, their ability to discover and, and diagnose problems uh, is just unprecedented. Yeah. There's a gestalt to it that's really hard to get across, but it's a very comfy environment. It's like a world scale IDE almost, except it's distributed internally. Can I use some of your words from what you wrote? You, this is in regards to code search at Google. So I, I would imagine there's some similarity in uh, satisfaction score potentially for this um, this intelligence, I suppose. You said Google code search is like the matrix except for developers. It is It has near perfect satisfaction score on Google's internal surveys and pretty much every dev who leaves Google misses it. This is in regards to code search. This is the reason why source graph exists because this was only at Google and everybody else needs it too. And you want to say Google engineers today can navigate and understand their own multi-billion line code base better than perhaps any other group of devs in such a large environment. So are you saying that they have a tool like Git or GitHub that's, that gives them that intelligence this better and mm -hmm. no one else has access to this thing? And this is their proverbial secret sauce behind the scenes to be more efficient as an engineering team, despite everyone now having to work on AI and kind of being behind the ball. That's right. Okay. That's right. Their, their tooling environment. In fact, Google's entire infrastructure stack, not just the tools, but everything that uses a developer there, even the docs and stuff are just, uh, just unbelievably good and stupidly good. Like you just come in and you're like, what? Like it just, it makes no sense. Like the, the rest of the world just feels like people just bang on rocks compared to Google stuff. <laughs> But I could never convince them to give it to the rest of the developers. If only Steve Ballmer had been there screaming about developers, mm, right? That would do it. That would do it. Well, this has been a, a very good unpopular opinion. Maybe I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm still thinking about it. Yeah. I would love to see it. I'd love to see like a demo, you know, for the rest of the world. Because sometimes you don't know you're banging on rocks until you see somebody who has like a more sophisticated tool. And you're like, oh, I could do that. Yeah. I mean, you can see, you can see Google code search if you just type Chromium code search. It, they've indexed. It was, it was, I actually did this was on my way out. It was my swan song of Google, uh, at least in the code search team. It was, was, was indexing the Android and Chromium code bases. So you can play with it. It doesn't have all of the functionality, but it has a lot. And you can see it's very slick. Mm. Uh, you know, navigation, it's just, it's just really, really good, but that's only the search stuff. And that's, that's actually not even used that much compared to some of the other things like their, their, their quick editor, uh, and, uh, so cider they have and, and sit see their clients in the cloud. They have basically cloud-based clients and, oh my God, the stuff they have is like science fiction. Still the stuff they had 15 years ago is still science fiction for the rest of the world. Like they, they have high speed networks and they can make, they can, they can do uh, incredible, ugh, I can go on. It. It's really <laughs> nuts. It's really nuts. So yeah, the rest of the world is kind of hurting. And that's, that's why I'm still in this space. Cause I think the rest of the world needs to get to where Google's at. 